Today, I am reviewing one of Volkswagen's best cars ever made. No, it's not the XL1. No, it's not a Mark V R32. No, it's not a Mark IV R32. No, it's not my Mark 8 GTI. No, it's not a Mark 8 Golf R. No, it's not a Mark II Golf GTI. And no, it's not a Mark IV 20th Anniversary GTI. It's this, a jacked up black Volkswagen Golf station wagon. This is Shep's Garage, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel, this is, this is the first time seeing my face on your screen. Don't forget to just click the subscribe button for more awesome car content videos like this one. I'm trying to make YouTube my full-time job, and I can't do it without your guys' support. You guys have been crushing it lately, and I can't thank you all so much for that support. Number two, I want to give a shout out to my teacher, Miss Fink, for letting me review her all track yeah that's right one of my teachers has a, an all track which is pretty cool so thank you miss fink i really appreciate it and uh yeah let's get let's talk about this car for a minute though well, this is not any ordinary jacked up golf station wagon this is a pretty special car that we got here in the united states it's called the all track and it was a part of uh, volkswagen's lineup in 2017 alongside the base golf the golf gti and golf r now the golf all track was a part of two one of two wagons that we got here in the 2017 model year the one of them was called the golf sport wagon that car was based on the golf and well as you can see as you can probably guess by the name it was a golf wagon this car is the more adventurous jacked up version as uh, that's why it has all this body cladding it's lifted up more compared to the golf sport wagon but even more important it has all-wheel drive that's just the beginning today i want to walk around this car with you guys and share why i think it is the best volkswagen model we ever got in the united states first i want to get back to the drivetrain for a minute just because that well i was just talking about it but the drivetrain as i said was all-wheel drive this is pretty important as most volkswagen golf models are front wheel drive the base golf the golf sport wagon and the golf gti are all front wheel drive whereas if you wanted previously the all-wheel drive golf you had to step up for, and pay 40 grand for a golf r well the golf all track was special because it started around the 25 27 thousand dollar price mark and you got all-wheel drive as standard that was a pretty big deal because this gave the opportunity to uh, make some pretty cool builds because this car is all-wheel drive and it technically is a base golf speaking of base golf let's talk about the powertrain this uh, all track uses a 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder making 170 horsepower. Now, you may be saying, Chef, my GTI makes 220 or 240 horsepower. Why would I want to care about a 170 horsepower 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder? Well, it's because that these 1.8 liter engines are so easy to mod and tune and with just a couple mods a cold air intake maybe a stage one tune maybe an exhaust you can put out at almost three almost or over 300 horsepower that's close to golf r numbers and that's just maybe one or two or maybe three thousand dollars worth of add-ons on this car so you can make this car have Golf R and GTI power with just a few thousand dollars more and you're not even close to the GTI or Golf R pricing. That is pretty neat. But even still, I've been told that this uh, 170 horsepower engine, this 1.8 liter engine, handles and feels just like a GTI or Golf R. It has that same sportiness feel to it and to me, that and an all-wheel drive wagon, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. But if you think that this combination is still a little bit boring, let me bring you on to my next point. Let me bring you on to my next point. Transmission options for this car. Now previously, uh, you could get a manual in a base Golf or a GTI or a Golf R, but usually in the higher trim levels, you couldn't get a manual. Now, normally, in the United States, manuals are dying, and that is just a big fact. It's sad to hear, I love manual cars, I think they're amazing. However, no one just knows how to drive them anymore, unfortunately, and, Volk and Volkswagen and other car manufacturers are listening to that now, and they are killing the manual on all these cars. The GTI is gone, the Golf R will soon be not have a manual, and that's really disappointing. However, Volkswagen and the Alltrack decided to have a option 
where you can get this is this is this is right I am currently in Massachusetts right now I'm not in Canada I'm not in Europe where you can get a six-speed manual transmission no this is not a swap this is not some one-of-one -one conversion no this was an actual option you could get on the all track a 60 manual in the s and se levels of the trims you could get a manual transmission and that is mainly why this car is so important here in the united states for us volkswagen enthusiasts and that's because that it is a manual all-wheel drive wagon now the entire dashboard is somewhat familiar to let's say a um normal golf golf gti golf r the sort of mark 7 look which you know i've been in a lot of mark 7s and i just really appreciate on how this was sort of the sweet spot for a while you have actual gauges a digital part in the instrument cluster right there you have a smaller screen with apple carplay you have physical buttons for the climate control and everything physical buttons for the heated seats and it's just some way you can appreciate after owning a market gti like i have where you can appreciate that everything is in your line of sight and it's just a button and not in a screen so is some additional advantages to this over a gti or a golf r first of all panoramic sunroof that's pretty cool because it is a more adventurous model you also do get the uh, very uh, highly desired Fender audio system because, well, people say the Harman Kardon one sucks. I think it. I think mine Harman Kardon's fine, but yeah. But even better than that, you also get additional back seat and storage room. As you can see, I am in the back seat right now, and as you can see, I have way more headroom and legroom compared to, let's say, my GTI, for example. My GTI, I've always gotten complaints from my friends that it's small and that they don't have enough room in the back seat. Well, if this, if I could find one of these, which I'll get to that in a minute, this would have been my ideal car. You know, I have a powerful engine, I have room in the back seat, I have an uh, awesome panoramic sunroof, and I have a, an engine that can be well, very well tuned. Now, obviously, because this is a German station wagon, you have more room in the back seat, and you also have, let's just open this up, I love that Volkswagen still does this on the Mark 8, but a actual usable trunk where you could fit golf clubs. I play golf and one of the big complaints for me is why Volkswagen names it after a, the golf, after the sport, golf, but can't fit golf clubs in a golf without folding the seats down. However, this is a golf that actually lives up to that name and you can actually put golf clubs in this car, which is, well, pretty cool. You have tons of space i have no idea what the figure is but i'll put it up on the screen so you guys can know but what's really cool is you even have some household outlets back here which is pretty neat and you can fold the seats down from back here like that and they just fold flat and then you have just have this station wagon that's a manual that has 170 horsepower 1.8 liter four cylinder and that is all wheel drive so oh as you can see i'm pretty i'm geeking out over this car Additionally, in the car world, in the Volkswagen modification land that I'm a part of, I've seen these modified to the point where they are just so cool. Now, the all track, as you know, is lifted up, it's jacked up, it's meant for adventures. I've seen people put them on coilovers and slam them to get rid of the major wheel gap here, but I don't mind it, to be honest. But overall, this car, if you modify it, if you leave it stock, it's such a cool daily. And you're probably wondering a few things right now. Number one, I'm seen, I seem to be very enthusiastic about this car. So why don't I have one? And why did I get a GTI instead? Well, I've really never told you guys this. And I've only told my closest friends, but a GTI has never been my intended like first car when I went out and got a first car. You know, my friend used to have one of these, a black manual all track. It was a 2018, it was a facelift and it was a 7.5 this is a 7 and it was so cool it was a manual he did an exhaust he lowered it and it was just such a cool car i'll throw in some clips of it actually <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Ever since I met my friend, shout out to Sam Lehman, he is kind of persuaded me and you know brainwashed me with to appreciate how cool these all tracks are however this brings up a problem that if you will even want to buy a manual all track of how ridiculously rare they are as i said here in north america no one buys manual cars anymore and no one buys station wagons which is why most of these all tracks are automatic they're dsgs which is fine don't get me wrong the dsg is cool but the manual is cooler and that's what makes this car cool. It's, a, it's in its own little segment on the wagon market where it's an all-wheel drive manual wagon. And that's something that we, don't, we didn't get in the modern age. When this car came out, everyone was like, oh my god, that is the coolest thing ever. But yet no one bought these in manuals. And this one, actually, I was told by my teacher, she special ordered this car from Germany. So she picked all the options and everything and special ordered it in a manual. Sure, they are out there. If you look hard enough, you can find a manual all track. However, after three months, I gave up and that's why I don't have one. However, of one day on this channel, you will see me owning one of these cars. You will 100% see me owning a manual all track. And that's why this is the best Volkswagen we've ever gotten in the United States. Volkswagen will never ever bring this car back again. The Mark 8 came out, they have a wagon of it and a Golf R wagon of it, they will never bring that to the United States because wagon this car was discontinued because wagon sales here suck. Uh, we have a very few amount of wagons left. Point proven that Porsche just contained the Panamera wagon, unfortunately. So we really only have two Audi wagons, the A4 and the A6 all road, and then the E-Class wagon. That's all we have left for German wagons here. So this car was a short time run. It's sad, I know, I'm crying like down in the inside right now. But this car will never come back, but we can appreciate that we actually got this for the 2017, 18, and 19 model year. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and thank you to my teacher once again, Miss Fink, for letting me film her all track. I really appreciate it. Let's get one last look of that manual transmission, just to see in awe. So beautiful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.